Hmm. And so, uh, working with uh, you, you got to work with a lot of great teachers at the National School. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you were yeah. asked back for a second year. Is that correct? Well, it was a three-year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a three-year uh, course, mm -hmm. nine months a year. And at the end of the second year, you were. They would sift out the people they think would make it in this the business, right? So mm -hmm. <laughs> you ask that. There was I found out later on, mm -hmm. many years later, that at the end of the second year, the gentleman who had then took over as the head of the school deemed that I was not worthy of coming back. Mm -hmm. on the third year because he couldn't see any market for me there out there. He didn't see any work for me, being a black man, a West Indian accent and all that sort of stuff. Hmm. Apparently, most of the tutors said, well, if you will have to let Arden go, you have to let everybody go because one, oh, he's one of our best students. Hmm. Right. You know what, subsequently, Right now, there's Ron Ulrich, who's who runs Theatre Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Nikki Lipman, Wayne Specht in, uh, in Vancouver. They didn't let him come back either, but he mm -hmm. did. When he loved Lecoq and Mime and mm -hmm. Ani Zaslav and so on, so he has his own Mime troupe and everything in mm -hmm. Vancouver, and he's doing very well. Mm -hmm. Other than that, right, <laughs> right. And yeah. what was uh, Nikki Lipman like? Back then. Oh, Nikki was super. No, Nikki's a Nikki's a lady. You know, she's a um, very nice person. Mm -hmm. um, as a matter of fact, uh, my first job after school was with Nikki. Oh, Nikki and Ron. We were uh, now talking about fate and life. When at the end of the first. Uh, the third year, mm -hmm. leaving, th there would be this exercise mm -hmm. where artists and directors from most of the people who are interested in students of the school would come to see this exercise. This is the one Michael McCarran directed, right. Shakespeare thing, whatnot. Uh, John Giuliani came to see it. Marigold Charlesworth, lots of people, uh, Ken, from, Ken from the Globe. And Hachandro from BC. Now there was a mail strike at the end of that year. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there were people s sending requests, asking if you, inviting you to join their groups and so on. Because that wasn't coming through the mail. Yeah, right. So they would mail it to you and it would just get yeah. stuck in the... The only person who didn't mail was Hutch Chandra and Jane Heyman in Vancouver. Right. They cabled. Right. So... You got a job. The only one I heard from, I, we went we took that opportunity. But in the meantime, mm -hmm. before that, I'd done a play with Jeff Henry about Africa and the Caribbean where I had the lead playing most of it, the preacher and drummer and the narrator and stuff like that. So. Mm. CBC decided they'd put it on TV. In those days, it was a whole week right. to tape it, right? To rehearse right. it and tape it. So. Mm -hmm. so, signed a contract and everything. But the week before, I came to Toronto because there was a notice in the Globe and Mail about replacing somebody in a show, a musical. Mm -hmm. Somebody on a tour, North American tour, your own thing, I think it was called, based on 12th Night. Okay. So, I came in and sang. Mm -hmm. I was going to be a singer. Yeah. Now, <coughs> the next week was to tape the thing, and they needed the person. According to the the, the adverti advertisement in the Globe and Mail, for the week after that. Hmm. So I came to the Bayview Theatre and did the audition. Can you come in on Monday? Mm -hmm. This would have been in my green card, North American tour as a singer. <laughs> wow. Okay. 
Well, I mean, uh, on stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. Stage, yeah. Yeah. And had you done any musical theater before? Had you done No, well, it's, it's theater oh. school. You oh, sang. Okay. We were, I, oh, I'm a singer. I, I did, yeah, yeah. could sing. Ron Ulrich directs musicals. I was okay. in charge of teaching him about hearing and listening to the beat and the stuff. You know. Okay. Yeah, so. Right. And so? Anyway, I didn't have an agent. I didn't know what to do. Right. So I, I told him about the thing happening the next week and he said, well, there's a, is there any way you can change it? To? I mm -hmm. said, no. Mm -hmm. 